Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I will be flipping through my 2021 Memory Keeping Happy Planner. This is the big, and it is getting rather chunky already for only being the half year point. So I do think I have to change my classic discs to some expandable ones. I'll make sure to pick those up soon. And so the first quarter we did January, February, and March. So we'll start off in April. And I'm super excited because if the lighting looks better on this video, let me know. I do have brand new uh, softbox lights coming down and then I rearrange my room to have the window right um, in front of me here. So there's tons of natural lights. There's no more like harsh shadows, which I'm absolutely in love with. Um, I decided to splurge for the lights because I have been without. But it looks good, so just let me know if you can tell <laughs> that it's improved. All right, so for April, we'll get started. So I always, um, you know, I never <laughs> use the monthly calendar, but I like to stick in little things that Valentina does. So we have like the Disney Princess little fashion plates, and I decided to keep, I am fully vaccinated, so I kept all of like the information packet that they gave us for the Moderna one when I got it done, and so I kept that as well in my happy planner so then april starts off and it was um easter that weekend so this is just some scrapbook paper that i got from a paper pad from michael's and then place the photos around it and then some of the stickers i believe are also from like the recollections um sticker books that do coordinate with their paper pads at the store so just some pictures my sister was in town we went to the zoo and then all the easter fun goodness <laughs> with uh, easter egg hunts and then i used a purple uh, paper mate flare pen week two um, again i anchored it with some scrapbook paper this one right here is from hobby lobby i know it's one of those inexpensive ones from the aisles but then we still have the uh happy planner stickers all the way around it was maui's birthday he just turned one um still love the mural flowers that i did and then it's just ink probably my pilot g2 and then i made a little insert here with extra paper um this looks like something else but in essence it was a project this was from a, an account um, that ha she uses this kind of box in the back for her Project Life stickers and does her Project Life, which is totally me. I asked her where she got that box and she explained that her husband made it. So stop it if I can't, you know, hire her husband to make it. But I have the next best thing. My parents just moved to town. Um, they live uh, like 20 minutes away now. And my dad is really good at woodworking. And so I commissioned my dad to make me something similar. This is why it has all the dimensions on it because this is the picture I gave my dad. And he has actually made me something very similar, but I actually made it um, a little bit longer to be the entire length of my desk from Ikea. So it's super long. Um, I'll have a craft room tour shown enough, but I wanted to keep that folder and the story about how I commissioned my dad to kind of make something similar from this inspirational photo that I simply loved um, and so that was in here so it coordinates and it's easy to do these things so in order to have tip-ins and in order to save paperwork and everything else what you need to have and I get it asked all the time so I had it handy is the the happy planner punch so this one will cut the arc um, system in perfect you know measurements for the big but then it's also marked off for the big and then the classic if you have the smaller one but you need this punch in order to add in fun little tip-ins and paperwork and art projects um, that kids do so get the punch I did pick mine up I believe at Michaels it's still there or on the happy planner website the what is it third week in June um, this is scrapbook paper again probably some scraps and when I have a lot of anchored paper like this you can see I printed all of my photos in black and white it's just an idea not to add too much uh, color <laughs> um, to make it look too too busy and then these are definitely happy planner stickers on black ink happy planner yeah these are all happy planner stickers and then the little tip in I made is because of the story of Valentina finally getting a Yeti. She chews straws, folks. She's three and a half. <laughs> I go through so many plastic straws that are attached to other ones. So when I saw there's a Yeti store here in West Palm Beach, the straw is plastic and it can't be chewed through. So I kept the packaging and then wrote that story about 
um, how Valentina, you know, is a chewer of straw. She's probably going to be a pen biter too. I don't know, but it's just kind of the story that I highlighted it on the tip in for that week. Here I got super creative. So this, all of the Disney Princess Jasmine stuff, this was the packaging to a Barbie doll that I got Valentina. So and I, I don't know what made me think of it, but this is what came from it. So this is, you know, the, the, the fold and this was the corner and then the plastic was here and you got to view um, Jasmine from the packaging. This is the back of the box and then this is the other side that was attached here. And it worked out perfectly for this spread. You guys, look how cute this looks. Now, at this time, I didn't have any of the princess stickers. Actually, I don't even know if it was released in April, but I know that there's tons of uh, uh, princess stickers now. But if you ever have like Barbie packaging, <laughs> it works perfectly for the columns that are uh, designated for the vertical spread in the big. So it worked out beautifully. Um, I For this week, Valentina was sick, so I was home from work for her a lot. Um, and then these stickers I used were from the Fun Florals sticker book. And this one... Um, it was also a happy planner sticker, but yes, Barbie packaging, a must if you ever want to include it in a spread. Then for this one, it's definitely just a pink and orange. I used a orange inked, probably um, an Inkjoy pen, and then had ombre paper in the back, and then this was from the Fun Florals too. These are all matched it. Just a lot of happy planner stickers. I have a lot of collections, and then did my kind of photos like that in order to give myself plenty of journal writing. I do write a lot in this book because if you always recall, I do Project Life. That one is very photo heavy with little journaling and all my stories are in here. So that's why these coordinate with my albums. <laughs> I rarely use this page as well. Like I said, I definitely just use these planners for memory keeping. It's a simple weekly um, task I give myself every Sunday to do the week before and I love having at least this being up to date and consistent. So then we get into May and I've kept a few of her schoolwork <laughs> coloring pages. These are always so fun. So this is just what kind of came home one of the days, probably in May, again, using that punch so that I have the ability to do that. And I still have, look, I have a pile of even like ones that I want to keep. So it's like dinosaur month and then Sea World, and then she's getting a lot of good pen control so they give her these sheets to write her name and then this little puzzle was so cute so I do have to trim off some of the cardstock but I'm gonna put all of these in here as well <laughs> and so for May we start off with this spread this is I believe this is Amy Tangerine uh, scrapbook paper in the back and then of course the happy planner stickers all the way around and then I used a this is I want to say this is a jelly roll pen. Yes, it is because I know, I believe it's from the neon pack. So it's this is this ink. I love changing up the ink to match. It's another fun way to make this a very creative process for me. Um, so yeah, just a lot of fun little things. It was Mother's Day that weekend and we the Florida Fair was in town. So we did that. Um, I had gotten into planting our flowers in our walkway and then some fun times with some friends. <laughs> this spread, this is actually the old collection. It's wrapping paper from We Are Memory Keepers. They used to make wrapping paper booklets. I still have tons from one pad, so that's what's in the background here. And then a few photos. We went to the fair again, um, talking about my love for the Monet skincare line, always taking selfies with the dog. Oh, and it was picture day um, this week at school. And then in the bottom is my journaling. This one's a little less, but it's pastel ink. So that's why you can't really see it too much, but it picked up the colors from there. And now I will definitely tell you that I'm not perfect at this process, process because the next two weeks in May were a total loss to me. I don't know if I, I A, didn't take like any pictures it seems these weeks, and B, once I like was into June because June was totally fun, it was my birthday month, um, I couldn't remember how to go back and fill these in. So don't get me wrong, I could go back and probably take whatever was on my phone um, into it, but I'm gonna give myself grace to say it's okay that I have skipped two weeks in my happy planner um, because that life must have been a little bit just too ha too much, too, too um, loss of time, and so this is fine. It's okay to have blank pages, everyone. So I still give you the, the I would say, the permission to kind of let this go and then continue on for June. It is okay um, because June was very special. Um, 
if you know, um, if you follow me on social media, um, I turned 40 in June. And so the entire month felt like it was um, like birthday celebration. There was something planned for every weekend in the month of June. Um, so I felt very loved at the end of the month. So you'll see my spreads. Very blessed for friends and families that took the time to celebrate with me. So for the first week though, however, um, I had done Week in the Life, which is a project uh, hosted by Allie Edwards. So the details of this week are in a separate album. I do it every year. It's my fourth year completing Week in the Life. And that will be a flip through soon. But I just wanted to make mention to it. That's how I stamped this with a stamp set. This one is called, I got it on Amazon. It's just a simple like kitty uppercase something. Uh, uppercase alphabet transparent stamps. So that's what was used here. Um, still having, these are from the Fun Florals collection sticker pad, and then it's paper from Hobby Lobby. And so these were just like extra pictures from that week. Then this was actually, my birthday was on the 11th. So again, I used this to kind of happy 40th birthday to me. Paper from Hobby Lobby, and all the stickers are from sticker books. The story goes too is that I actually kind of got sick this week with like what started off as allergies then it turned into bronchitis and so even for my staycation weekend um, I <laughs> was coughing every night um, so I wasn't I didn't drink either so it was definitely interesting in that regard but we had a staycation it was amazing Miguel spoiled me to death and it surprised me with all my friends joining us poolside and for each dinner gambling it was amazing so that was the first weekend celebration then I got my hands on the princess sticker books so it's just purple colored cardstock and then I did it with everything Aurora and I try to pull the pictures that had purple in it believe it or not purple and pink are Valentina's favorite colors so when she wears purple and pink purple and pink umbrella purple tank top it just worked for this week so I did add a little bit of blue here it was my father's day gifts and I had one more picture, so here's this little kind of tip. I made a little tip in only because my brother-in-law's t-shirt was another blue color that I didn't want to con conflict with the colors of the spread. So I made a little tip in with copy paper. I just kind of made a strip, stuck this in, folded up the other strip, stuck this picture on it, and then cut off the rest of it is how I was able to make a little flip. Because that way this picture stayed neutral to go with the spread, and I hid the blue color of his shirt. Now the other way I could have bypassed it was, of course you saw my other layout, I could have just made this picture black and white, eh, but I figured a tip-in could work too, a little, a little flap. <laughs> so then I continued on with my storytelling in two ink colors, so we have like a, like a lavender color and then a deeper purple in order to break apart some of the journaling. So this is one set of journaling, two, three, and then four and five. That worked out great. I love this spread. It's so cute with the Aurora stickers. And then the last week in June, I went away to Puerto Rico with my sister and my mom for my birthday. And then the second week of the, um, the second part of the week was my birthday party. Um, all, we went on a like yacht down in West Palm Beach, or it was Delray. And we came back and it served dinner and it was the whole thing and it was very nice. And so I have a picture reflecting that as well. And so then all the stickers too, this is from... Uh, rainbow dreams and then the, the rainbow flower pattern uh, floral paper is from Hobby Lobby and then these uh, alphabet stickers are also from a happy planner sticker book the same one rainbow dreams is all of it in order to make the layout good and then I used a like turquoise ink for the journaling and then that rounds out June so I hope you have some inspiration you can see I always still take a scrapbooking um, approach to it because I have tons of paper to use um, but I do like the happy planner stickers all the time in there because it always coordinates everything I love changing up the ink color and if you can tell actually even this one this one's gray ink it's another like jelly roll pen that has a gray cap and sticking in still projects <laughs> giving yourself grace for not completing two weeks and I definitely love changing up the ink color too to keep those layouts um, matching. Um, you know, it's always my style. Remember the Barbie layout, the Barbie box layout? Having tippins so that you have the punch. Tippins make telling extra stories that week um, doable. And so, yeah, these are the quarter two. And now we're into July. So then next flip through will be um, July, August, and September. So I'm super excited about that. 
and I hope you are deciding to grab a planner and memory keep um, your movements as well. Until next time, bye everyone.